Welcome to this first look at the Texas Pride Trailer Super 7 Car Hauler Trailer. First, some fast facts. The Super 7 Car Hauler Trailer is 53 feet long and has a gross vehicle weight rating of 45,000 pounds. The empty trailer weight is 20,220 pounds. The frame is 6 inch by 3 inch rectangular steel tubing. The trailer is 102 inches wide. The flooring is a punched hole aluminum decking. 8-foot aluminum slide-in ramps with 4-foot rear hydraulic slide makes for easy loading. The suspension is a Ridewell Air Ride with dump valve. The trailer has air brakes with ABS on both axles and all-wheel ABS. The wheels are 22.5-inch 10-lug polished aluminum wheels outside with steel wheels inside. The tires are 16-ply LRH RM272 Cooper tires, 5,070-pound rated. Flush mount lifetime LED lighting surrounds the trailer. Inside, there are 11 nighttime working lights. The quick-release ratcheting tie-down system with cargo chains and wheel straps keeps your cargo in place. The coupler is a standard SAE kingpin. Now here's some basics on the Super 7 Car Hauler Trailer controls and features. Helping us today are David and Juan, two of our amazing craftsmen who work on this trailer. Turn on the kill switch to activate power to the functions and controls. There are two switches for the 11 work lights. The work lights are located in the floor and along the sides. All are lifetime LED lights. Section 1 of the trailer is the front ramp extension to allow for larger vehicles. First, you must release the safety pins near both of the number 1 cylinders. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 1 forward to extend the ramp forward. Once extended, insert the safety pins near both of the number 1 cylinders. Section 2 of the trailer tilts the top front ramps to make it easier to get larger cars underneath. First, you must release the safety pins near both of the number 2 cylinders. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 2 forward to extend the number 2 section upwards. Once extended, insert the safety pins near both of the number 2 cylinders. Section 3 tilts the rear section of the floor, allowing vehicles to drive into the bottom front section of the trailer. First, you must release the safety pins near both of the number 3 cylinders. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 3 forward to lift the number 3 section upwards. Once lifted, insert the safety pins near both of the number 3 cylinders. Section 4 extends the center top ramp to allow vehicles to drive onto the floor section. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 4 forward to extend the number 4 section upwards. Once extended, remove the safety pin from the frame and insert into position. Repeat on the other side of the trailer. Section 5 extends the top rear ramp to allow cars to drive into the floor section. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 5 forward to extend the number 5 section upwards. Once extended, remove the safety pin from the frame and insert into position. Repeat on the other side of the trailer. Section 6 extends the bottom ramps to allow cars to enter and exit the trailer. Use your left hand to push the momentary release switch upwards and push control number 6 forward to extend the number 6 section outwards. Unlock the safety pins at the rear of the number 6 section. Pull and fully extend the 8-foot aluminum ramps to the ground. Flip over the steel transition flaps to make the ride smoother for the vehicles. Behind the wheels, you'll find a measuring stick that allows you to check the vertical height of your load, ensuring safe clearance under bridges and power lines. The airbags allow you to raise and lower the height of the trailer as needed for road conditions or overhead hazards. Flip the air switch to deflate the bags, which will lower the height of the trailer.
The electric dumbbell allows you to add air to car tires or other elements by attaching a hose to the air outlet and flipping the switch. And that's a first look at the Texas Pride Trailer Super 7 Car Hauler Trailer. We're here to answer any additional questions you may have. Just give us a call or drop us a line through the website. Thanks so much for watching.